What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a two box review of the new 2122 Black Basketball here. If you guys like these reviews, especially two box reviews, keep showing that support, like the video and subscribe. It's quick, it's free, it helps us do all the videos, all the giveaways, stuff you see here. So two boxes of the new Black. I like this set. I think it's a pretty good set. Last year's and the year before was pretty good to us. So let's get into the information real quick for this set. So the uh, resale or the price you'll pay for this in the low to mid $400 range, definitely a pricier one uh, given everything in total. But uh, this is an online exclusive, only sold on Panini's site and now it's sold out there. So uh, just secondary sellers, resale market, things like that. So the boxes come with five total cards in every single one, just one pack in there. You get one autograph, two base parallels, and then two base cards, but all the cards are numbered. So the base are numbered. So parallels, the base is to 149, the silver is to 75, there's copper to 49, uh, gold to 25, hollow gold to five, platinum one of ones. In the set here, and I don't think there's really anything on the box to show. So there's the back, it, it's a very small box. I mean, just my hand. And you can see there, 95 card set, 65 base, 30 rookies. Oh, that's base, that's that is, uh, 30 rookies. So not the worst odds. I actually like that. We get rookies decently, usually at least one, usually. So that's something nice to see. Uh, yeah, so look out for those. Now the new super rare white knight inserts um, are in here. Those are the first insert, I believe, in the set. In the past, there's been no inserts. just all kind of base and autographs. It's no uh, solo mem cards, no inserts. Now there is an insert called white knight. So look out for those. And they're all white, despite the set being called black. I don't know. But yeah, so there we go. And then autographs, there's uh, rookie memorabilia autographs, there's rookie jumbo mem autos, which I believe are rare, and the smoke show signatures replacing the, I think, the moon ones from last year. So all the autos are 49 or less, and that's uh, that's it. So let's get into the box. Let's see what we got. Hopefully something very, very cool. So here we go. Let me know your thoughts on this product. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And um, yeah, we're going to see what we get in this one here. So get this box open, and I'll give this one a cut to save us some time later. There we go. All right, put this here, box number one here, get our pack out. In the background we have a very lucky Curry and Bane, and our IG, which is linked down below, it's free, post tons of stuff there, kind of sneak peeks at this product, others, and um, hobby news, stuff like that, and our free Discord and our TikToks also linked down below. Here is the pack, there we go. All right, so let's get our little stack of fillers, which I'm sure everyone missed so much. And we'll put our cards just behind there and reveal them one by one. So here we go. Time for 2122 Black. Now, last year, actually, Lamello Autos were live in here, which was a very nice bonus. I don't think there were any redemptions at all in the set. At least none that I remember. But the big guys were all live, which was a huge, huge plus and something that I would really love to see. So we'll put these in the back very carefully like this. And let's see what we have. All right. So first card up. All right, Brandon Boston. So there's the design, a matte kind of look to it. 38 of 149. I like it. It's nice looking cards. And uh, yeah, I like the back too, honestly. Looks very nice. Good design. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like all the past years, kind of, but I like it. Always looks good. So there is the base. Once again, all numbered. So base is to 149. What do you guys think about that? Less cards, but they're all numbered. Do you guys like that? Not like it? So there's our first one there. And once again, guys, you guys like these reviews, you want to see more, help us out with a like and a sub. You can sign up for membership as well. Uh, the like and sub is free, of course, but membership, you can get some bonus content. Helps do all you see here. And uh, there's Ant to 149. Nice. I think I pulled a base Ant last year, which was very nice. And uh, there we go, another one. So condition-wise, top right corner, yeah, a little bit. These are condition sensitive, especially, I'd say. So um, something to keep in mind with the set. All right, let's pull our... Cards from the back, our two parallels. Number one is Clay, 75. See those kind of patterns on there? I don't know if they say them. No, but yeah. They reuse all these designs you see a million times, these kind of swirl rama, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. That's one thing I don't like about the sets, is that they always use the same exact pattern, just give it a new name. So all right, should have one more parallel and then our autograph. And let's see who it is. Can it be a rookie? It is. No, 49, Jeremy Grant. All right. There we go. And yeah, cool card. I think that's a uh, copper. Yeah, copper. All right. Maybe we can get more pistons with this one. All right. 
Here is our card here. It's a little bit thicker. Maybe it's a patch one. Let's see. It is IO. All right. It's not too bad. I'll take an IO. Uh, it's a 10. It's not bad. Not bad. Is what's going on with this autograph? One of 10, which is nice. This is kind of the rarer set to get. Not impossible, but the less common one you'll get. That is not IO's auto, is it? I don't know. That looks off to me. I pulled IO autos before. Unless it's upside down. Even that doesn't really look like it that much. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to take a look. Either he messed that up or the sticker is upside down or I don't know. But uh, to 10, it's a nice card. All right, there we go. The rare RPA set and, um, you know, got a nice patch in there. Not bad at all. Not bad. I'll definitely take it. All right. So there we go. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that autograph, honestly, but hmm. and that's uh, that's it. Box two. Let's see if box two can be better. All right. There we go. And let's see what we got. So I actually have seen a few of these. So once again, going back to our Instagram back there. Panini showed some of the preview images featuring, I think it was Giddy and Trey Man, I think it was. So we've gotten a look at some of the cards. I actually thought the Giddy was on card. It looked it looked so on card. It might still be live in my story now if you take a look. I could have sworn it was on card. And then you can see the sticker just in the corners. So you posted a look at some of those cards. If we don't pull a white knight, that's on my Instagram as well, I believe. So definitely check it out. There we go. KP to 149. But I think I liked what I've seen overall in those preview images. You can see a lot of those uh, edges were a little bit rough, especially when you have the black edges. You're going to see that damage pretty easily, which is part of kind of what to expect. So let's see if we can get in box number two. All right. Hey, speaking of Trey Man, there's Trey Man. Nice. All right, there we go. And give him a sleeve. I feel like we've seen him a decent amount this year, so I hope he's a good player. 86, 149. There's our base. We can get a parallel rookie, maybe. I love that. And let's see. Pull from the bottom. Shangun. Oh, nice one. I'll take it. The silver one. There we go. Nice. And here we are. Here we go. And also, posted some uh, shorts recently. Did some IRL basketball challenges with cards on the line. Uh, if you go to kind of my channel, go to videos, you can include shorts. And we did some real basketball shooting challenges with cards on the line. We did some, you know, guess the card stuff. A bunch of different fun challenges. And, uh, all right, so nice we got him twice, but this is the five, Porzingis. Rainbow time. Yeah, so definitely check those out. We also did a video with Derek Jeter, and he's got the magic touch. And, uh, all the cool stuff. Huge mail day, I think. Put to the test, spent 15k in today's uh, market, and saw what we got. So, if you guys like stuff like that, check it out. i much more like it. I've seen this pattern before. It reminds me of the, uh, team all of, uh, what's the, Domers Elite, Domers Elite. Yeah, there we go. Domers Elite team all. There's a million team alls. There's a million products. There we go, to five KP, not too bad. Let's see if this auto can be uh, something big. All right, here we go, our final card. And let's see who we have here. Once again, thick, kind of like that one. All right, Primo. You know, all right, I said this was the rarer one. It is slightly rarer, but we got two of them. Um, definitely not impossible. I mean, if you open a couple boxes, not the worst odds getting one. Uh, these are slightly rarer, one off from eBay 101. There we go. Primo. I'll take it. Honestly, the edges do look better than I thought they'd look. Like this Primo, the front at least. I mean, there's a little surface stuff, which is very common with thicker cards, but the edges look better than the preview images we saw on Instagram. So, not too bad. And overall, solid haul, I'd say. No, like, one monster, but got some decent cards. And that should be it. Yep, there we go. Which box won? Which one would you take? We have Io, which I need to investigate that autograph. That is... I don't know. Very, very interesting. Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. That's totally possible. There's box one and here's box two. All right. I like the set. I think the price is a little too high. Not a little too high. Very too high. Everything's priced way too high. Uh, but yeah, pick the box. I think if I had to pick one, I'd go with this one just because got two rookies, got the five and primo. And that's what I think there. 
Uh, what do you guys think? But this one's also to 10, the IO, with an interesting autograph. Patches were nice, though. And uh, maybe these are more common this year. Who knows? But So, rating time. 400, low $400 range is a bit much, I would say. On a scale from 1 to 10, 5 being average, 10 is amazing, 1 is awful. I'll give this product a... Give it a 6.25. I think it's a little above average. That price is the only thing holding it back. I like everything's numbered. I like the odds at rookies. I like that all the autographs are rookies and uh, adding the case it this year. But I definitely think that price is a bit too risky for these. And unfortunately, this product, despite looking nice, doesn't have a huge resale kind of value like you'd see with maybe you pull a huge prism card. Like if I pulled the Ant to 149 last year, which I did, that base one you know, is a fraction of... Uh, to 149 for another set that's a little more popular so that's one thing i'd say but uh it is a nice rip it's a fun one too you get some decent stuff we open a lot on the pac-man breaks channel our second channel and um has some decent luck so overall i like it decent stuff and that's what i think so comment thoughts down below what do you guys think let's investigate this autograph maybe i'll pop something on the screen if i can find something about it but yeah very very interesting and um let's do some digging but there it goes guys what do you guys think once again and a lot of fun stuff coming soon maybe some baseball those who don't like baseball, forget I said that. But if you do like baseball, maybe some baseball. So have a lot of fun and hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, yeah, if so, show support. We'll have many more like it. But it does it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.